Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I will show you how I sewed this beautiful denim dress. The inspiration actually comes from Zara. They made a similar dress and I wanted to create something that is much more my fit because I think it's all about the fit. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let's start with this DIY tutorial. The first step is the pattern. For the pattern I'm using basic pattern bodice. You can find the link in my description box below. This pattern is very easy to use and you can use it as many times as you want. But once you have glued all the pieces together you can cut your size and then we're gonna move on to how I transform it to the dress that I am actually showing you in this video. The first step of changing the pattern is that I want to place the incision on the side and not on the top because this dress doesn't have any sleeves or anything so that's why I'm moving my incision to the side. I always try to adjust the pattern for my own body so here I actually measured 10 centimeters from the neckline because I didn't want to show a lot of cleavage and that's why I try to keep it more that way. I also took away the incision on the uh, on the waist so when you take out the incision you have to take them out from the side so this is actually what I did this pattern does not have a lot of seams so I try to keep it much as the original one. comes to the back pattern I actually took away about three centimeters from the low because I like when the back is more seenable and I actually kept the incisions on the back because I really wanted to form my waist and my booty more so that's why I kept these incisions um, I Once you have the pattern done, it's time to place the pattern on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. I always start by sewing the incisions and as you can see here I'm starting with the two ones at the front where the breasts are and the two ones on the back. Taking my second front piece and I'm sewing this line because this dress needs to have a little extra inner lining from the main material just to make it nice edges for the dress and it forms the breast much better. And of course, don't forget to do exactly the same thing for the back side as well. Don't forget to also cut the back side in the middle because that is where you will place the zipper. But if it's easier for you to work with one piece, then keep that way until the zipper part comes.
Now that the back and front are done, you're going to connect them together so you have one whole piece. I actually tried the dress on and I realized that it wasn't nice without the incisions at the front because this jeans fabric or denim fabric that I use is very very stretchy that's why I could actually take away extra four centimeters on the front but if not then you're gonna have to consider taking these um, incisions while you are doing the pattern. And of course for the last step is to connect the back which is the sew the zipper and of course the lower part where the slits is. This is how the finishing product looks like. This dress is amazing, but the most important thing about this dress is the fit. When I create basic pattern, I always apply my measurements to the basic pattern and then I follow up the video and make the changes to create the dress. So that's why the fit is very, very important for me. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and useful. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Stay tuned and see you till then. Hey, Dora!